Hey, my little creep. So yeah, today this is like my how I made my little. Who texted me like I'm a boy? Hi. Today is how I made my little ColourPop board. Um, about three years ago, I made this same board in order to keep up with all of my ColourPop shadows. And I did not show you guys how I made it. I just kind of showed it because it's pretty simple. But this one is like a little more extravagant, and it's like extra, and it's like popping here when not and whatnot. So yes, now first of all, I recorded this like little intro thing already one time. And I got like this new microphone to put on the camera so that y'all could possibly hear me better. Don't know if it makes a difference or not yet. It's like super cheap. But I forgot to turn the mic on. So this is my second time recording this. This is my second time recording this. Because y'all couldn't hear me the first time. <laughs> but yes, so the color pop board, if you are new to my channel and you don't remember, or even if you're not and you just didn't see that video, um, this is kind of what it looks like. It is not complete because um, I actually have two boards, one for palettes and one for the single shadows. And I did not get to finish the palette one because I actually have like a um, haul unboxing type of video that I have to do for those for you guys and I haven't done it yet. And so I don't want to put them on the board yet, but I will include um, a picture, hopefully I'll remember, to include a picture of it when I'm done. If not, then it will be on my Instagram or any of my social media. You'll be able to see what the palette board looks like. I know you fucking like. I know them bill collectors better leave a real bitch alone. Like, go ahead on. You're doing too much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, before I show y'all the board, like, if y'all like this setup, this background, let me know. You know, I'm gonna make it a little different for you guys. I don't want y'all to get bored with me now that I'm making one night. Because, you know, I can do the most sometimes. But sometimes I can do the least. That's neither here nor there. So, yes, the board. This is what the the board looks like. Once it is complete, it has two parts to it. And this is going to be the side for the palette. So, yeah. Um. Also, can you, like, let me know what my lighting looks like? Because I don't know if it's right. Yeah, I'm not sure guys, okay, like, just tell me out in the comments and tell me like, if the lighting, if it's too bright, my ring light at this moment refuses to dim for some reason, so I'm hoping that it doesn't make me, make the whole situation too bright. So let me know down below what y'all think about the lighting and the setup and everything. Um, you know, I'm gonna be trying to switch it up though, you know. But yeah, so if you're interested in how I made this little color pop board or whatever, then yeah, just stay tuned and make sure to like and to comment and to subscribe and to talk to me in the comments and to share and all of that good stuff and send your friends over here because baby, look, I'm about to try to really be consistent and make this YouTube do what I need it to do, okay? And I'm gonna need y'all help. Like, I need my creeps to be on board and I need y'all to help me and I need y'all to be like my... You know, my squad or whatever. Like, help a sister out and whatnot. Um, yeah. So, I love you guys. And no, I have not forget about my where the fuck have I been video. I have not forgotten, okay? Just trying to emotionally wrap myself around this. Y'all know I'm an unstable creature, okay? When I start talking to y'all, I be crying and shit. And I got time for that, okay? In 2018 to be crying and whatnot. So, yes. I love you guys so very much. Stay tuned for the ColourPop board. And yeah. I'll talk to y'all later. Ooh, ooh. Bye. So, yeah, we're just going to turn on the computer and whatnot. And what I'm going to show you here is basically just how I got the template to use um, to, like, carve out the letters to get it as close to the color pop logo as possible. And really all I did was just Google um, color pop logo, I think that's what I did, Google. And um, it popped up, and I just picked one that I could upsize to a big enough size to trace and that's really like that was just a very simple easy thing to do so then my guard brother calls me and he's so extra i wish i had the sound off so you can hear him when i say ridiculous i mean ridiculous but anyway so when i got to the print part i just kind of was upsizing the letters kind of trying to imagine you know the size of the board versus the size of what i would want the letters to be 
And when I put it up, just for your reference, for easy reference, it um 300% made it the perfect size. Like, I couldn't believe that I was able to get it like the perfect size without even knowing. I just was like, that looks about right. And it actually looks right. So, yeah. There's me just showing you the size. So, it was about three, four sheets of paper. Now, the size of this board I listed below because I honestly forgot. Um, But, yeah, those are the things that you need. Which is just Velcro, your template, scissors, um, glue, and we're going to change the glue, so don't get too fixated on that glue. Um, the Velcro strips, and whatever kind of paper you want to use, I found this at um, Michael's. It was I didn't even know that it was see-through until I opened the pack. So if you don't want a see-through look, then you might want to pay attention to the pack but I'm glad it was because it actually went perfect with what I was trying to do honestly so yeah you just check trace yeah trace <laughs> the letters so that you can cut them out um the tracing doesn't have to be perfect but if you want to keep the black outline then I suggest that you um use a thicker sharpie and that you you know make it more perfect I'm actually going to wipe that off at the end of the video so I attempted to use the school glue and that did not work. So scratch that. And I found my son's Gorilla Glue that he likes to use on his glasses every time he breaks them. And yeah, you just go through and you can glue it all the way around or just at certain points. I just picked certain points that I needed stuck down and did it that way. And then the leftover paper that I had, I just cut out little hearts. See them in school, like you learn to cut out the hearts on the corner. This came in handy. And you can do, I mean, of course, whatever you want. This is just what I did with the leftover. I put one side of the hearts, um, like, on each side, just so that when the boards are put together, it makes the complete heart. And when this is laying down, it looks like it's green and pink. But honestly, when it's up and the light hits it the right way, it's like a purple, blue, pinkish type of color. So this is my old board. I made a video on that. I'll put this down below. And I still have stickies on there from this old board I made like three years ago. But, um, so what I'm doing is, is I'm pulling some of the old ones off. But they honestly were not sticky tight enough because they were on another board. So to save money, instead of buying a whole lot of Velcro strips, I wanted to use the old ones. So what I'm going to do is just use the Gorilla Glue on the back of those that would not stick down or whatever and you see me here just measuring like the space i honestly wish that i would have done them a little further apart so y'all might want to keep that in mind and um next time i do this board i probably will not put as many on it it held up it, it holds up just fine don't get me wrong but i don't know i think that maybe next time i'm just going to space it out so there we go very very simple like i'm such a messy like arts and crafts person i don't know i can never keep things neat so there i'm just doing what i told you earlier going and then i'm showing you like how i had wrote out to keep up with the inventory of the colors that i had so that you're not rebuying colors for one and that you can keep up when you notice one is on your board you know which one is gone so I'm going to do that again, but instead of writing on the board, I'm actually going to type it out in, on a piece of paper and like tape it to the back. It just makes it easier to add to and from. So then, I'm just sticking everything on, nothing fancy, you know, measuring out. That's a long strip that I had. I actually bought those to do palettes on the next board, but I ran out, so I'm not able to show you the palettes on this one. Um, but once I include a picture of this, then I will definitely have show you the palette um board that I made to hook all of my little palettes to that I got from because they are you know like small. So probably can fit like six or seven per board. And yeah, that's it, baby. Just showing you what the board looks like. I'm so glad that you guys tuned in. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I just yeah, appreciate you guys for watching me. Oh, oh, I...